Welcome to Ridge Life Ramblings, guys. It is happening again. I'm Tim, and we are here on the ridge in West Tennessee doing some talking. And guys, it's going to freeze again. It's about 40 degrees, and uh, it was in the 70s yesterday. Uh, actually kind of warm, but it was nasty, though. Those rainy and tornado watches and uh, terrible winds and all that. Of course, you can see now it is all gone. It is a new day, but it is cold. It's going to get down to about 25, 27 degrees tonight, which means I've got to winterize the camper again. You already saw what happened. I had burst a uh, faucet inside, and uh, that was on uh, today's video. Uh, if you missed that on Ridge Life, and of course we had the bees, we lost Hatmaker Colony. Um, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched that yet, sorry about that. Um, but guys, I, I, to keep that from happening again, we need to winterize the cabin again. This should be the last day. The la I believe this is going to be the last freeze of the year. That's, that's what Farmer Almanac Tim is going to tell you. This is the last freeze. So let's go around and uh, do some winterizing. We're just going to do some simple winterizing here. Of course, one cloud in the sky and it just clouded up. That's pretty crazy. Um, so what I got to do, first thing I do here is uh, turn off the water. Get that water off there. Let me set you down right here. And uh, all I'm going to do is uh, disconnect. Cut that off. Disconnect the water hose on this end and that should allow it to drain down downhill the uh the camper is downhill over here and uh we can see right here um we'll disconnect this end got that see the loop when it's loosened up it loosens up really easy there we go we got that disconnected now what i gotta do is the drains so i've already got these open so this is this is the, the 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 gray water and the black water i've got both these open uh shouldn't be anything come out so i'll go ahead and open them up there we go let that anything out drain so nothing going on there now i have got to get these uh low point drains open that's going to be the cold water and that's the hot water here's the cold water and that will allow everything to drain out there we go. Let that drain out. Now, let's go inside and do the fun stuff here. I got some little beans to spill for you if you're really observant. <laughs> As we go inside, there'll be uh, bigger and better videos coming out on Ridge Life. Let me come in here. So now that I got the, uh, the low water, the low point drains open, we got the water supply off, I probably need to go ahead and turn off the water heater there. Now I got the water heater off. I want to open this so that drains out. I don't want that to break my uh, new uh, faucet again, do I? Let's come back over here. Let's uh, open up this sink. Let all that drain out outside. There we go. Lazy Pond Farm, everybody. <laughs> Same thing in the shower. Let's open up this one. Let's shower open up. Let's go ahead and do the toilet as well. Make sure anything drain out of there. So that took care of that. And guys, I I am tired of this cold weather. Now, I told you it was 70s. The air conditioner didn't work. I turned the air conditioners off because it was like 80 degrees in the camper. You know, you know, it's just a big metal tube, so it heats up inside here like a greenhouse. It got up in the 80s in here. I turned the air conditioner on, it was hardly doing anything. So I have got to climb on top, but luckily it's only February. So I've got time to get that fixed before it gets really, really hot. So that's something on the agenda. But look at this guys behind me. Do y'all see what this is? This is a custom made American flag with 45 caliber bullet stars. Isn't that cool? 45 caliber bullet stars. And that, doesn't that just fit great right there on that wall? I am super, super excited about that custom made American flag with 45 caliber stars. Murka, baby, Murka. So all the drains open in here. 
I'm really not going to put any antifreeze in because like, I'm going to keep it warm in here so the the the, the sinks, the P-traps and all that stuff um, should never get that cold tonight in the cabin because I'll keep it warm in here. Um, but again, we got all the other water draining out and uh, I don't have anything in the bulk tank. I was uh, uh, on water supply from the log cabin over there you saw. So let's get back outside and we can talk about a few things, do a little rambling. You know how I like to ramble. I've got a chair set up right over here. Um, oh, goodness gracious. As soon as, as soon as I get done with our rambling here today, I have got to finish moving out of the garage at the farmhouse. I've just got a few things left. And then of course this weekend, uh, we'll be working on the barn and uh, some other things. Um, but it is the end. It is the end. You know, it was super windy. Um, if it's windy now, guys, I apologize. Storms rolled through on my last day of being married. Um, and then today comes, and it's just bright and glorious, sunshiny, green. Uh, guys, the, the daffodils, the buttercups, the snapdragons, the east lilies, what, whatever y'all want to call them things, coming up everywhere, just like a sign. And then, of course, I seen clover, purple clover, or look like clover in, in, a, in a field starting to bloom. February, today, first day I seen it. Super excited. I mean, excited for the bees to see all these uh, these pollen pollen sources coming out and nectar sources. You know, it's a little early for nectar, but um, it's a new day, a new day for me, new day for nature. Uh, first day of being single again. I could I could dwell on not being married, or I could think about being single. Now, guys, I am not jumping on no dating apps. You're not going to find me on no no. I don't even know what those apps are called, Match or all those other things. Uh, you're not going to find me on them because that's not my focus right now. My focus, moving full steam ahead here on the ridge, I have got a barn to build. I've got land to clear first. I've got a barn dominium. i got kids to celebrate with and have fun and do, do family type things. I am not looking for any of that type of thing. So just, just don't be looking for me on no farmers, uh, farmers uh, only or whatever it is dot com. I, I'm not going to be there. Um, but I am going to be moving forward. I'm going to get this, get this life going, um, make the best of it. Um, super excited, uh, doing some more improvements on the cabin. You'll on the, on the camper, you'll see a, a video on Ridge Life pretty soon about some things I got going on. I got, I got to get a few more things ordered. I want to make a, uh, several, um, improvements before I make a video on what, what all the things are. Of course, here on Ramblings, you, you get some sneak peeks to some of these things, uh, which of course makes sense. You are the peeps here on Ramblings. Want to make sure that happens. Oh my goodness, it's cold. <laughs> the wind is. Hopefully, the wind's not messing with the camera. I got this uh, Hero uh, 10 with the medium mod on it. It's got a pretty good little uh, uh, wind sock there to, to dampen the wind. But um, gonna get cold tonight don't have any water now i'll have to go inside the the log home to, to to keep water on or to brush my teeth before i go to bed and use the restroom and all that stuff but i think i can rough it for one night there's guys out there roughing it way way worse than that that's for sure um and then tomorrow i'll be able to turn the water back on and i'm hoping that is the last time i really do i hope that's the last time get everything situated and uh this weekend is busy guys I have a trail camera video coming out Monday. You are not going to want to miss. If you love nature, if you love deer hunting and all that kind of stuff, but if you just love nature, um, January bucks, there are still monsters out there, guys. Monsters that made it through the deer season. Monsters I wish I would have seen while I was hunting. Now, that eight point I got was pretty, pretty nice and mature eight point. Guys, there are some monsters out there that made it through, and I got some really, really good trail cam videos of that. Some updates on the predator issue, the dogs, the coyote, and the fox, and all that. Um, I really think you're going to enjoy Monday's video uh, on the trail camera, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I just saw that um, Simple Life Reclaim got their trusses ordered, and I don't know how long it's going to take for them to get delivered, 
but I will be in talks with Mel and Gary about my trip out there to help out them with David and the whole Framerly crew out there in Arkansas. So be on the lookout for when Ridge Life raids the 41.36, because it will happen, guys. I'll be uh, trying not to cause too many problems for them as I'm helping them uh, put the trusses up and or sheeting or siding or whatever they got at me doing. Um, I will try not to break as many things as I fix and build. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key. That's the point right there. Um, again, as soon as I get done here, I'm going to... Uh, get my muck boots on walk up through the ridge and start finishing loading the trailer up i got the trailer already over there at the farmhouse and um, this today today may be the last day i ever set foot on um, the ridge farmhouse property i still have to go up to the barn which is you know way behind the farmhouse but today may be the last day i set foot on that property I've enjoyed living on that property for, for years now. And uh, I know it will be well taken care of. I do, I do. And uh, this back property, we're gonna be improving on it and making it just as wonderful and just as splendid and just as um, magnificent as that property was. And I know a lot of people are going to enjoy this uh, journey and my family coming out to visit and enjoy what we've got going on i just can't wait for my little granddaughter adley to see the baby lambs when they get born and of course the highland cattle and the baby highland cattle the coo uh when when, when they're born uh you know, and these are these are um years in the making of this uh off-grid journey gotta get a, gotta get a barn gotta get fencing gotta get you know the pond gotta get all those things going uh, but we'll have chickens before then i've already got rabbits and bees um gotta, gotta get the the animals i got brought down, down here now so you'll see that coming up very soon probably next week for sure um just it's different it's just different um, I'm just so thankful. I, I tasked you all the other day with giving me uh, motivation by your, 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 your what happened good to you today. And guys, there were 400 or so comments. And I loved reading every one, uh, one of them about all the good things you had going on in your lives that motivated me, you know, to help me through that day. And then, uh, then of course, yesterday's video telling you, it, you know, it's over. Uh, you guys gave me tons and tons of support on that video. So um, I promise all these videos won't be about the big D. Uh, matter of fact, uh, today should be the last day about it. You know, you'll still see, you know, moving the barn, you know, moving the stuff in the barn and, and, and moving the rabbits and chickens. That's kind of related because it's still on that property. But as far as woe is me and um, all that stuff, today's the last day. We're moving forward. Today is a bright, sunny, beautiful day. I mean, look at that. Look at that out there. Gorgeous. I don't know if the sun was reflecting on it. You couldn't see a thing, but <laughs> I can see it. It's gorgeous. Just a super, super, super beautiful day. And um, I'm going to sit out here and enjoy it for another few moments before I get to work and get everything brought down. Uh, I got uh, family coming in this weekend, and I'll be helping them do some things as well. Um, so guys, I'm gonna cut this one a little bit short, a little bit shorter than usual, but I do love y'all. I do appreciate you joining me on this journey and I will see you again very, very soon. So until then, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go Ridge Life.